If your business has the NEC NACD call center software with the Management Information Package, better known as MIS, you can equip your desktop suite users with valuable monitors right from your desktop application. You have agent and queue monitors available and you can configure them best to suit your needs. For example, in the queue monitor, I have the number of agents color trigger set to turn red when there are no agents logged in. When I only have one agent logged in, the color changes to yellow. Now these states are not ideal, and this is something that I want to monitor, so I've set the colors at red and yellow to catch my attention. When another agent logs in, the sales queue color turns to green, and I don't have to keep such a close eye on it. I can also see the number of calls in the queue and the amount of time the longest caller is waited. Now both of these can be set to have color triggers for certain thresholds. In this demo system, I have the calls and queue threshold set to turn yellow for one caller in the queue. And I also have the longest call set to change colors at 4 and 8 seconds. As a call comes in, you can see the calls and queue color change yellow with one call in the queue. And when the call exceeded 4 and 8 seconds, the color went from yellow to red. I'm sure you want to extend these times in a real call environment. I can choose which queues I want to monitor. In this example, I'm monitoring the sales and service queue and have chosen to not monitor the accounting queue. This is selectable for each user. In the agent monitor, I can see who's logged in, logged out, if they're on a call, on rest or wrap up mode, and I can see how long they've been in that mode. Here you can see Morgan just went into break mode and her timer reset to zero. Now this video shows the monitors that are available to desktop suite users. For many users, these are exactly what they want to view. Call center managers have many more monitors and metrics that they can view and monitor. Thanks for watching this video.